<laughs> guys i'm hyped this is this i've been wanting to do this video for a while i've had this idea for a while just written down but never got to it since like man several months but we are finally here and I, i'm really happy with like the submissions and the participation so far oh yeah oh we about to get into it for the roast actually i have to calm it down i have to really take it down like several notches i need to be like a seven that was more of like an 84. Alfonso, this is optimus prime transform and roll out What's up, Alfonso Nation? Welcome back, everybody. Let's go. Let's go. This is awesome. A brand new video idea on the channel. Hope you guys enjoy this. This is probably going to be a lot of fun. I told you guys on Twitter to submit to me your Transformers collection pictures. It could have been pretty much anything. Different people have different collections. Some of you have a small collection. Some of you have a big collection. Some of you have a movie collection. Some of you have a G1 collection. Regardless of what kind of collection you have, we're all Transformers fans. We all got some kind of display going on. So this is gonna be like rating your Transformers collections. Like rating the cleanliness, like the neatness, how everything is organized. And this has been a video idea of mine for a while, but I never got around to doing it. So so this is this is hype we're finally getting to it first of all i just want to say thanks to the people that participated like i wasn't expecting all these submissions but that's freaking cool i love it like i can do more episodes if this video does well and that is the goal if this video does well and you guys like this type of thing let me know in the comments share it around and if it performs well we might make this into a little mini series you know what i mean oh my god we're all right some of these are really really awesome and i really just i have nothing but good things to say and some of them i have to i have a lot of questions i have i have to, I have to concern I have to submit a review for, for questioning, interrogation, investig- My main thing when I'm judging these is gonna be just the cleanliness. How neat are they? How organized are they? How much thought went into the display presence of everything? Is it like organized and neat and clean? Or is it just cluttered mess, everything just thrown together? But I'm not really gonna comment on like, you know, Oh, you choose this continuity over this one. Oh, you choose to collect this over that. I don't care about that. We are all collectors, we like different things, and that's respectable. My main thing is gonna be, how does it look overall? How did you organize it? And I also just wanna say, if I roast you, just take the roast, just get roasted, you know what I'm saying? It's nothing personal. I'm not like doing this like super intensively, and I'm not like serious or insulting the person. I'm just talking about the collection itself. And yeah, let's get into it. Let's get into our first submission of the video. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to do this. We're off to a fantastic start. <laughs> what the heck? Dude, this is this is not even a collection like shelf. This is a collection room. This is a collection vault. Bro, this is Toys R Us. I what? <laughs> like I don't even think I will ever like reach this much. This is a lot, but it's kind of cool to see. Like this is straight up passion right here so this was submitted by razor's edge 02 on twitter uh and it's he says this is my collection from december right after i got my death saurus the table is now cleared off for my legacy united line as i have been getting them the whole room was shelving on all four walls i've been collecting since i was a child wow dude that's crazy so that table the middle table that we're seeing completely cleared off right now as we speak this is a like a picture from like a few months ago so like where did all that go did you add like more shelves on the wall is that what you said like i do kind of like the cleanliness it is like at least somewhat organized like looking at the shelves on the back you do have like different colored shelves so they are kind of conflicting you have like black then brown then white then black then white so it's kind of like the it's it's, it's a little like off-putting if you had all black shelves it probably would look more like uniform or all one color but even like all the figures on your shelves are like really neatly placed you can tell that a lot of them are in their like statue poses and when you get to a lot of figures like that you kind of have to do that but man you got freaking nemesis you got like an omega supreme i forgot which 
version that is maybe a shattered glass it's a different color variation it's kind of hard to say this oh this is not organized because this is a full room dedicated to figures so wherever you put them doesn't really matter but i think you have it relatively like neat considering how much you have and you have a lot i'm 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 shook i like the tablecloth you got the freaking uh bavers tablecloths like under them that really helps with like the color keeping everything colorful but i will say in terms of the display presence you freaking knock this one out the part this is this is a lot of really cool things to look at lots of color i'm gonna say this is probably like a good about like a eight out of ten display maybe eight and a half i would say it's 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 really impressive the fact that you have all this collected by now all right next one comes to us from twitter user echo and kiwi rock and the only description is i made the shelf that is actually really, really cool. I like that creativity. You made the shelf yourself and then put it up for your figures. You got the Bavers going on up there. You have a random Spider-Man. I, I, you have a rand. There's a, there's a random Spider-Man. Uh, okay. I, I mean, yeah. The, the, the multiverse of the, the, mul the multiverse of ma a madness. <laughs> you got Armada Prime right there. You got freaking Bone Crusher right there. You got all the Baver stuff. Good looking, good. Then you got the smaller figure, so I do like the organization of it. You kind of organize it by size, which I kind of like. And then all the smaller figures you kind of put at the bottom. So that's cool. I, this, this is perfect. It's not a massive collection, but like it does the trick. And it's neat. It, you know, you can see almost every character from a glance, and that's really cool. And you have two blackouts. You have like the NPM, it looks like the NPM blackout, and then maybe a studio series at the top, or maybe is that a grind door? I can't really tell. I'm just noticing you have little bumblebees lined up in like car mode, like behind <laughs> behind the robots. That's kind of cool. I probably wouldn't put them behind the big boys, though. That's not something I would do. I'd put them in the front. You know, you always want to put like the big stuff in the back smaller stuff in the front so that you can see everything uh maybe you did that on purpose you don't want them to be seen but there's a lot of bumblebees you should put them in the front this is going to get a good 8 out of 10 in terms of like you know display presence and i like the creativity of creating your own shelf that's really cool all right next one comes to us from at oracle gauge on twitter description says currently working on getting another bookshelf for my 07 to 2011 toys okay brother gauge i'm gonna tell you right now man standing ovation standing ovation this is how you do it this is how it's done you see that right there do you see that right there do you see that right there that's awesome this is awesome that is an awesome collection everything is neat you got the boxes at the bottom you got the uniform shelves like like the coloring it's all the white shelves i love i've never actually done this myself but i love when people do this when they have like the smaller sh shelves at the top and it's like long, it's all along the wall. You even got the two-tone colored walls. You got, you met Peter Cullen? You met Peter Cullen? I see a picture of Peter Cullen there above your primes. You see, you see, you see what I'm talking about? Yes! You got a little mini prime shrine with Peter Cullen above it. You got some, I think some Jada die cast, or no, that's Funkos. You got some Funkos there with the Age of Extinction poster. Dude, this is freaking awesome. I see the Rise of the Beast popcorn bucket. Oh yeah, <laughs> I like this. I like this. Gage, you are you are doing, do, doing your thing, man. I see a full-blown Transformers Prime display. <laughs> So you're what you're this is you're you're a uh, fantastic job. You got a lot of Rise of the Beast. You got a pretty much a full blown Rise of the Beast shelf, like the whole shelf, that whole like left shelf, the taller one is all Rise of the Beast. I love that you got your G1 stuff. Gage, you're killing it. You're you're absolutely killing it. This is this is beautiful. You got your 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 masterpieces, Bone Crusher up there. This is this is awesome. And you know what I love? I love that you also have some mint in box, like the sealed OG figures. You know, you gotta have those. That's something I'm looking to do, like in my collection this year. Absolute home run. This I I, I have not, no complaints. Gage, you get a 10 out of 10 for me uh, for this collection. This is freaking dope. Thanks for submitting. Wow. Next one comes to us from Twitter user Disorder Bringer. Uh, the description says, it's not much, but I try. You know what? A for effort. It ain't all, you know, you don't have to have a whole room full of stuff. And it looks like you did a good job. So you have, you got, uh, you have the Optimus Prime in a T-pose. <laughs> so we already off to a great start. You got Prime in a T-pose. 
You have Tarn on the Coronation uh, throne. You have Coronation Starscream laying down. I'm I'm just gonna assume that this is on purpose. Because <laughs> if it's not, I'll be like, what the heck are you doing? What the heck are you doing? Like literally pick it up. Like literally at least stand him up. I mean, I know nobody likes Coronation Starscream, but it might be on purpose. I think it is on purpose because Tarn is aiming his blasters at him as if to say like, you ain't the king, I'm the king, homie, step aside. Like he just yanked him off the throne. So I'm gonna assume that's how that's supposed to be. And if that's the case, then cool. You know, I kind of like that. You kind of have some like displaying here. You got Reactivate Starscream, such a good figure. Such a good figure. You got the Bludgeon that looks like the Legacy Bludgeon. And it looks like that looks like the uh, the upscaled uh, third party uh, Torn as well. And you have a Torn mask. That is sick. I remember I met somebody at TFCon that had a Tarn mask and it looked pretty cool. I love when people are like creative enough to like make their own wearables. Whether that one is something you bought or made, it's really nice to have, especially for like Tarn fans. It's cool, it's cool. It's, it's, it's not like a lot, but you tried. And you know what? I'm gonna give you an A for effort because at least you tried and at least you followed the display like a uh, rule where you, you, you put the larger figures that are standing up in the back and you put the alt modes or the smaller figures in the front. So at least you can still see them. Me personally, I probably would transform the Earthrise Starscream or the, 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 the coordination and have him in jet mode next to reactivate so they can kind of look more uniform. That way you have all the robots in the back, then all the alts in the front. And you can still have Torm aiming his blaster, but really cool, love it. Uh, I'll rate this a solid seven and a half out of 10. I'll give you a seven and a half, you try it, you know. Not everybody's gonna have the most glamorous thing, so you try it and it's not too bad. It's a little small collection. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my God. On. okay all right so this is this is uh this is this is a lot this is a lot you know there's so much it looks like like you know those like those candies nerds <laughs> where it's just a bunch of rainbow dots like from like if you look from a distance it looks like it's just a bunch of candy like you it's really difficult but but sometimes you can see the the, the figures kind of peeking above the group uh, this comes from T Fanpage 101. What's good, my man? I I I see what you're working with, and his description says there's more than this. So you think that this is a lot? No, there is actually more to this than meets the eye. So saddle up your seatbelt. He's got stuff at the bottom. Looks like some Titan classes or some like some larger Titans. There is just so much. You know what? I'm honestly gonna. I'm not even gonna lie. Like I don't even know how you would improve like any display prices when you have this much figures with that little space like i don't know how you would do better like how do you improve that like where would you put them to make things look cleaner it's like they're filling almost every surface area that's, that's, that's cool though it's cool it really shows uh passion that you have a lot of interest and in a lot of different continuities and you collect basically just about every scale from the core to the legends to the freaking deluxes the voyagers leaders and the titans you got them all i'm looking at the top i'm seeing some vapor stuff i see the 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 drop kick the car drop kicks on bummy movie stuff i've seen the uh the 07 or like one of the vapor's bees i see some boxes in the back i see some pringles <laughs> i'll probably say you know what the most you could probably do to fix this is just like get some like official like bookshelves that are like large enough to hold all of this uh brian uh great job with that uh i I've, I've seen this before i think you've you've shown these and there's some other photos you have as well but wow holy crap you know what i'm gonna give you a solid seven and a half for this display mainly because i appreciate the passion like this is hardcore transformers fans right here this is like i'm in it for the long haul pun intended C construct a con right but yeah like really looking at it it's 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 a lot but hey more power to you <laughs> All right, so next one, this one's coming to us from at I'm here and there on Twitter. And the description says, uh, this is my latest photo of my collection. I often find myself collecting mostly legacy at the moment, but I have a couple of uh, studio series running around. I try to display figures with other figures of their line, like Velocitron, the type of bot, Dinobots series, or if they're Optima. See, already, just before I even get into it, I like that. I like when there's like some forethought, you think about how you're gonna display it. You like have some organization going on. I'm here for that. I like that. I respect it. And so this is the this is the photo. Um, there's uh, 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 it's um <laughs> it's a lot you got going on, but 
Okay. It's difficult to see what's what, especially on like the top shelf, like trying to make out what's what. You literally have to like zoom in to really like see because there's a lot of parts and then there's like, like, like props next to it. And then there's like figures in front of it that look like it's a part of the figure in the back of it. But it's kind of like, so it's like, the, it's, I, and maybe that's just the abstract design of the characters, but yeah, it doesn't look like, it's not like easily recognizable. Uh, you've got a good mixture as well. So I see like a gamer edition Bumblebee for War for Cybertron next to the Legacy Bulkhead, which is also next to the Megatron for Gamer Edition. And that's also next to that looks like um Armada Megatron. So it's a it's 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 a lot. The top shelf is a lot. I probably would Fix it a little bit different. I don't know how to keep it like that. At the bottom, it's more recognizable, though. I like that. You got the Armada Prime. I can see the Lego Prime. Easy. Beautiful Matrix. I think that's a box. Like a like the packaging or something. Or maybe that's like a an actual lamp that you have in there. And then you've got your little mini Prime Shrine. So I got to give you some credit. You got your little Prime Shrine. You have the mainline Rise of the Beast Prime standing on top of like a gaming console, I think. <laughs> With like three controllers. So, yeah, I probably wouldn't have, like, a gaming console and controllers. I would probably just try to keep it all neat and, like, display a little bit better. It's decent. It's decent. It could be improved, but I don't know. It's, it's, uh, I don't know. I would keep it like that. <laughs> I, I'm going to probably rate this about a good 7 out of 10. I think this is decent, but could be improved. All right, this next one is coming to us from at Azurius. Azurius? On Twitter, the description says, My collection is small. Started a little over a year ago now. Inspired by a friend. Uh, cool. Um, I'm okay with a small collection. Ain't, ain't, ain't nothing wrong with it. I do have a question. What the heck is even that? So, real quick. There's this really cool invention. It's called um, a towel. There's also another thing called like a Swiffer. So I'm really glad that you shot this photo in the Sahara. The The collection itself, judging the figures, pretty solid. It looks like you have like a miscellaneous shelf at the bottom because you got Sideways and Megatron, so you got to put those together. Then you have the Coronation Scream, it looks like. Is that the, or is that the Earthrise? That might be the Earthrise or like the, uh, like the Siege. It looks like a Siege. And then you have the, the other Starscream, so you kind of have those together. And then you got the movie-related figures kind of in this one for Rise of the Beast, like the Autobots, sort of. And then you have the the three RCs, it looks like. So, okay. And then you have Maximals in their own shelf, which is cool. I would probably, you know, store Rhinox's th thing on, on Rhinox. And then you have the Transformers Prime at the top, which Transformers Prime belongs at the top. RC is massive. B is smaller than her. Okay, I do like how you have Jack next to RC, you got Raph next to B, and Miko with when you get bulkhead, not if you get bulkhead, but when you get bulkhead, then you'll have uh, him for Miko. I'm here for the small collection, you tried your best, looks pretty decent, I would probably organize it a little bit differently personally, but I'm here for, I'm here for what you did. I just want it to be clean. <laughs> if I had to rate this, I, I'm gonna be honest. I'm, I'm probably gonna give this about a about a five out of ten. If you dust the shelf, I, I'm I'm gonna raise the rating to like maybe like a like a six and a half or seven. <laughs> okay. Once again, guys, this is nothing personal. I'm just I'm just having fun. I'm just being a goofball. You guys do whatever you want with your collections. It's your collection is your house. It's your display. It's your stuff. Do whatever you want. This is fun. I like this. Let me you guys see. This is fun. Okay, next one comes to us from at Justin Tendo on Twitter. First of all, I love that name. That's freaking cool. That's such a cool play on words. And it says, I've been collecting Transformers hardcore for about three years. The franchise has always been my favorite. The movies, characters, TV series, and actors all mean so much to me. That's awesome. My Yola Park ones are probably my favorite so far. I can't wait to get Cheetor and Rhinox. Yeah, baby. Cheetor is awesome. Can confirm. Rhinox is necessary for Prime's blasters and to complete the Maximals, considering Air Rage is not going to be a thing. Can confirm. So, this collection is awesome. I love it. Very unique. This is one of the few collections I've seen where you don't have an actual bookshelf, but you just have, like, like your own, like, glass or, like, 
uh, plastic. There might be plexiglass or like some kind of plastic clear shelves. And I like that. That's really cool. I like how you have them organized. You got the uh, Age of Extinction. You got Crosshairs. You got Grimlock. Then you've got some of the Beast Wars stuff up here with uh, Megatron. And then you've got some more Beast Wars here. You got Rhinox and Primal. And then two Cheetors, looks like. Very cool. Got the big boys over here. I love the on air sign. Twins. Twins. <laughs> I even love how you took some of the accessories from other figures. Like you can see the backpack of Noah Diaz along with Scourge's head. And that's like part of the debris field with the Titans fighting. That's really creative. I love that. Freaking awesome. So your team PlayStation and you got a PS5? My God. Okay, so you're a step ahead of me. But I'm here for it. I'm here for all the PlayStations. Team, team PlayStation all the way. You also submitted another picture. I normally only do one, but you have another one since you mentioned the Yolo Park stuff in your description. I'm going to show this one as well. Prime, Prime is uh, running for president next year. Uh, the Optimus... 2024 i'm gonna vote him into office and then you got my boy b don't call it a comeback primal and then you got scourge the best one of the bunch in my opinion looks good looks good and i love that you have the lego stuff in the back very nice if i had to rate your collection i'm gonna give you a solid a solid nine out of ten i think it's beautiful i think it's perfect it's nice and organized it's unique it's not like a regular bookshelf and you have them kind of suspended on the wall, which is cool. I think this is really nice. You did a great job. All right, this one comes to us from at right neutrino on Twitter. And it says, I'm only a kid and don't have that many toys. I had some more TF figures back in the day, but they either got thrown away or are eaten dust in storage somewhere. Okay. <laughs> All right, so don't have that many figures, which is cool. You don't have to have that many figures. It's all good. I gotta say, this is nice. I like this. It's not much, but what you have is recognizable. And you follow the rule with like, you know, putting the smaller ones in the front, big boys in the back. That might be the 3-0 Night Prime or the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the Unique Toys Challenger. That's not the Challenger. That looks like the 3-0 Night Prime. It's beautiful. So fantastic job on the Night Prime. I love the Transformers Prime Optimus. I love the, I think this is a Gundam. Don't quote me. I like this. This is very simple, but really, really neat and really cool. Is that a, you see, this guy understands, you understand. You understand the assignment. You got a, is that a gun? Wait a minute, wait. <laughs> I was about to say, bro, you understand the dust game, bro. You have a full on. Is that? That has to be a gun. Fantastic. I don't know if that's a fake one or if that's like an airsoft or like a like a BB or if that's like an actual firearm. I can see the 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 cutout for the sight, so that looks like a gun. Fantastic. I. You know what? I'm gonna just give this a solid like eight and a half out of ten. Very nice and neat. Very clean. All right, last one of the video. Uh, there's a lot that y'all submitted, so I can't get to all of them. But this is the last one of the video. Hope y'all enjoying this. And this one is from... At Guns and Losses from Twitter. It says, ain't much, but it's honest work. That's what I'm screaming. You see, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about, baby. I had to close it off with some papers. You guys know it. I love it. Uh, you got the Dark of the Moon at the top. And then you got, looks like, Dark of the Moon and Revenge of the Fallen at the bottom. Uh, this looks like the... Is that the Studio Series Ironhide? I see the Studio Series B, looks like. Looks like kind of customized, if I'm not mistaken. You got Dark of the Moon Prime front and center with the artillery ring, baby, let's go. And then you got Ratchet, looks good. You got Sideswipe, looks good. Even though you don't have a lot, and this is what I was saying, even though if you don't have a lot... The display presence is still nice. You got them properly spread out. You got them all angled in a certain way. You got them posed right, the falling with his like arms out. That is so cool. And that's definitely not the Studio Series Megatron. <laughs> That's way too nice for Studio Series. <laughs> that looks like the KO, the new KO uh, Revenge of the Fallen Megatron. Uh, very nice figure. Man, great job. I love this. If I have to rate this, scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give you a 9. It's clean. It's organized. They're all displayed. You put a lot of thought into them. You got Prime in the center. You got the two Autobots on each side. You got the artillery ring behind him, so it gives you that, that symmetry. And then right beneath it, you got the Fallen with its arms out. You got the small one in the middle with Ravage. And you got two on each side. See, that's symmetry. That's display presence. 
that's keeping things clean and I don't see a speck of dust. Fantastic job. There's obviously so much more. Um, you guys submitted a lot, which I'm very grateful for. If I had to pick my favorite one of the day, I don't even have to think about it. I'm honestly gonna have to give it to Gage. Let's bring it in. See that right there? That's dope. I'm sorry. That is dope. That is dope. For like a large room collection, like a full wall, that is really nice. That gets a strong, strong thumbs up from me. And for my favorite smaller collection, like for the smaller scaled ones with like lesser figures, I'm gonna have to give it to the uh, the guy. His name is Justin Tendo. I like yours a lot. I just like how unique it is. It is it's not like regular bookshelves and you have them all like properly grouped. All of them are visible and I think they look really clean, very nice. Well, that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I just wanted to do this. Um, if you guys like it, share it around. Drop a comment below which one was your favorite. And if you guys want to submit some, I may, depending on how this video does, I might do another post, like another tweet. So make sure to follow me on Twitter. The purpose of this is like to, you know, draw more uh, engagement on my Twitter because I just kind of want to grow that platform a little bit more. It's a little more difficult to grow on Twitter than any other platform I noticed. So I just kind of want to make this a Twitter exclusive thing. But if you guys, if this does well, then we're going to do some more. And I'll be posting tweets uh, to announce like my next, I guess, episode if I make this into a series. And so you guys can submit on that. But thanks to all those who submitted. And if I didn't see yours or if I didn't like get to yours, I apologize. But there's only a certain length I want to keep this video to. I think these are really nice collections overall. Even the ones that need to be dusted. <laughs> but that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like on it. If you're new, subscribe. Drop a comment in the section below. And share the video around. I'd much appreciate it. Also, be sure to check out my merch. If you want to get some, you don't have to. But if you want to get it, okay? And follow me on my socials. I'd much appreciate it. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one. Till all are one. Ha!